Greg Browning, one of the directors of Body Gloves, Imaginarium 2012 entry, The Disappearance. Our goal this year was, was really to try to get the best waves we could, the best photos we could, and kind of come up with a unique story to tie it all together. This year's idea was, was basically a mix of the found footage of the Blair Witch Project mixed in with a little Creature of the Black Lagoon, all kind of centered around the discovery of this new wave that nobody's ever been to, and then all hell breaks. In order for us to pull off the whole sea creature idea is it had to be able to go in the water, somebody had to be in it, it had to swim around, it had to be in the surf. Right next to the freeway up in Burbank and this is real Hollywood, here we are. So we went to J&M Costumers in Hollywood and worked with the guys there to help create a sea creature. We're trying on the mask and the costume for the sea creature. It's looking awesome. It's got crazy fins on the side, a big one on the back. It's basically a rash guard with all of these different panels of latex and textures that they're gonna put on top of it. Paint that, this like greenish, bluey, black, iridescent color, and it's looking sick. It's not too bad to get on with enough lube and it's warm, but we're going to a really hot place next, so we'll see how it works out in some some serious waves and some serious heat. The journey to Indonesia is definitely not the easiest journey to do, and especially to, to go to where we were planning to go meant a 15-hour plane ride here, a five-hour plane ride there, a two-hour plane ride here, a 10-hour overnight ferry with goats and chickens, a two-and-a-half-hour boat ride to actually get to the camp. It was a full-blown mission. When we got there, the guys at the camp said, okay, if you guys want to go over here, go over there, just be careful because there's snakes and centipedes and things that go bump in the night. I already looked under that, so good. Oh, you fucked up! <laughs> When we designed the creature suit, it was really trying to figure out how we could get Scott in and out of the suit while he could still swim and, you know, in the case that we got good waves, that he wouldn't die. We got it from the shop. We got it on. It's not cold out. And this is the first water, water trial. I think it's gonna be all right. Once we got Scott into the suit and we were actually getting ready to go surf, it was about you know, four to six feet and solid. There's two times that we got caught inside on this freak set that came in that Alex dropped in on and absolutely got destroyed. Well, Scott almost died. Head twisted around, can't move, stuck inside, four waves, all I remember is swimming next to him, trying to figure out where he was. And then eventually when the set ended, he was in the lagoon and heading back to the boat to take a breath and, you know, figure out how he just did not die. The whole process of, of coming up with an idea and creating the suit and was the suit gonna last? Were we gonna get good surf? Were the photos going to come, come out the way we wanted? Were the guys going to be able to pull off, you know, acting? Are you, messing, are you messing with me? Sorry. There were so many what ifs. And, and, you know, after it's all said and done and, and all the effort that everybody put in and, and all the support we had from the guys at Body Glove and, you know, the chance to be a part of something like this with the guys at Transworld, I mean, I'm really proud of it. I think everybody's really stoked. And, I hope you guys vote for us. Hi everyone, I'm Scott, the sea creature. Uh, it was really an honor to be a part of Body Gloves 2012 Imaginarium Surf Trip. Uh, they came to me with the idea to have basically me atop multiple professional surfers that were on their team. and. That's pretty much my specialty. So that's what I did.